Are you turning in your iPad over the summer and you're not sure you're going to receive it back? Well, it's really important that you make sure that you save any of your important videos and pictures from your iPad to either your computer or maybe even your Dropbox. So I want to save some of my items from my iPad over to my computer. Once you, uh, what you want to do is you want to look for the USB cable that came with your iPad and plug it into your iPad and the other end, the USB side, into your computer. If you wait about, you know, 10 seconds, maybe 30, you should receive this little notification here that says Apple iPad or whatever you've named your iPad. Um, what I recommend doing is uh, just double clicking where it says open device to view, to view the files. When you do that, it should open up your iPad kind of like if it were a flash drive or an external hard drive. So you'll see here it says internal storage. Well, this is actually my iPad. There's a little picture of a camera down here because it's only going to look for my photos and videos from this device. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and double click on this internal storage, and I have one folder called DCIM. Well, that's where you're going to find all of your photos and videos. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And from within here, you can see that I have one folder full of pictures and videos. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and you'll notice there are my pictures, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to back it up here. I can take this folder and I can go ahead and save it here onto my desktop. So I'm going to right click on my desktop and create a folder so that I can save my iPad videos to it. So I'm going to go to new and then folder and I'll call this iPad videos or media. There we go. And from here all I have to do then is drag that folder over into my folder on my desktop and it's going to copy the information there. And now when I close out of the window that shows my iPad, right? Go ahead and go into the folder and open it up. You'll see that now onto my computer, I have my beautiful picture of me sideways <laughs> saved onto my computer. So it'll be your quick way to go ahead and save your pictures and videos to your computer. Okay. Now, if you have a Dropbox account, and maybe you're going to turn in your laptop also. So you're not going to have your laptop, you're not going to have your iPad. What's another alternative? Well, another alternative is to go to Dropbox.com and create an account for yourself. If you already have one, you're already a step ahead. But create an account for yourself, and you can actually back up all of your photos and videos to Dropbox. And so what I'm going to do real quickly is I'm going to open up my Dropbox. Once I downloaded it to my computer, I have a little shortcut here, but I could also log in online and upload my media this way. But I'm going to show you here. If I click on my Dropbox symbol here, I can open the folder. And of course, all of this media is saved in the cloud, right? And from here, I want to do the same thing that I would do on my desktop, is that uh, I want to create a new folder. So up here at the top, I'm going to click New Folder, and I want to name this my iPad Photos or iPad Media so that I can save and back up my information. And so from here, oops, there we go, iPad Photos. I want to go ahead and open up my iPad to drag my pictures and videos in. So I don't have that pop-up anymore showing me that I can open the folder to view files on my iPad. So in this case, then you want to go ahead and find your computer icon, my computer icon, so that you can find your iPad again. So I'm going to click on Computer here. And you'll see that my iPad is right down here on the bottom, Karen's iPad. So I'm going to open that one up. And there's my internal storage. That's my iPad. And there's my DCIM file folder. And these are the folders that contain my pictures. So very simple, drag and drop. I'm resizing this window here so I can see where I'm dragging it into. I'm going to take that folder and drag it over into my iPad photos in my Dropbox. And you'll see that it's syncing right now to my Dropbox. The really nice thing about this is if I put it in my Dropbox, I can go to any other computer that I want, my computer at home, another iPad. I can log into my Dropbox account. I can get my pictures, download them, use them, create videos. There's all sorts of possibilities there. But number one and most important is that you're able to back up your photos and videos from your iPad before you turn them in.